Ladies and gentlemen, you clicked on this video because you want to find out how I'm getting SMMA clients on complete autopilot. Now, most likely speaking, if you're watching this video, you are probably busting your ass in order to sign clients, right? You are probably doing tons of outreach, taking calls, getting ghosted, like going through the whole spiel, right? Like the whole process of signing clients. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a solution for you if you want to do this quickly. This is not a, uh, uh, you know, an SMMA course that's going to turn you into a 10K per month agency overnight. This is the result of systems that I've been building over the past months that now are allowing me to completely automate my customer acquisition. Okay. But with that being said, let's just get right into it. So you want to start acquiring clients completely on autopilot. Although this sounds amazing, it takes a lot of systems and trainings to actually achieve it, right? There's lots of moving parts, and that means that a lot of things can break, right? Mostly people. A lot of people can leave. Uh, you know, there's a lot of human resources. It's really just a complicated process, right? Now, just to clarify, just because customer acquisition is automated, that doesn't mean you just don't have work anymore. That doesn't mean that, you know, you can, you know, just sip pina coladas off like the coast of Mexico or something now, right? That's not how it works, right? Now you're just going to have a different type of work right? Maybe not as much, but you know, you didn't have, for example, human resources work before. Now you have human resources work, right? I'm trying to set your expectations, right? This video is not going to teach you how to automate your business. It's going to teach you how to automate customer acquisition. Okay. That doesn't mean you're just going to do nothing now. Okay. But step number one, acquiring the leads. That's the first step here, right? We have to actually acquire the leads. Now, step number one is actually acquiring the leads. Personally, we use Facebook Messenger in order to book meetings. But if you do something else like cold calling or cold email, then this part of the document isn't really relevant to you. But still keep watching because the other parts are. Okay? Now, there is a way to do this with, or I'm sorry. Personally, we use Messenger Flow, right? That's my software company. And for those of you who watch my videos, you know I've been talking about it for a while, right? That helps us automate everything. But it also does help us automate the first part, which is getting the leads, right? Now, there, this software, it's not available to the public just yet. We're not available to the public, right? It's still in beta. We're testing it. We're doing our thing. But there is a way to do this exact thing with virtual assistants, right? It's a lot more expensive. It is hard to set up and it doesn't last as long, but still it is a wonderful option in comparison to like cold calling or cold email or something, right? And while Messenger Flow isn't out, it's really the only option. I have a video linked here and I'm going to have this document linked in the description. So if you want to get this document, you can just click, click on this, click that and boom, that's the YouTube video, right? But you have the YouTube video here that explains how to get those virtual assistants and how to use them. Okay. That's the first step. The virtual assistants go get your leads for us. It's done through messenger flow. Then step number two, messaging the lead, right? You have to actually message them on Facebook messenger. Now, once you get the leads, you need to actually message them again. We use Messenger Flow in order to automate this process. But as I said, Messenger Flow is not out for public use just yet. It will be soon, so this won't be a problem. But if you are going to be hiring VAs, as shown in the previous video, they are going to be the ones doing the messaging, right? They scrape the leads and do the messaging. The most important part here is actually using a script that's effective, right? You can send as many messages as you want. If your script is horrible, you're not going to get results. It's as simple as that, okay? Now, I also made a YouTube video on the exact script that we're using, literally our script. Like we are literally automating, like getting clients on autopilot. And this is our exact script, not our old script, not a script we kind of use, like the script we only use available for the public for free. Another YouTube video for you guys, right? Click this. Boom. That's a YouTube video. Okay. Then step number three, actually booking the lead. 99% of the time, a lead is not just going to book a call and that's it, right? They have some sort of smoke screen objections and questions that you need to answer and overcome. Now we have a full blown objection handling sheet combined with our sales script, right? So that script that's in this video, right? It's not just a sales script. It's also an objection handling sheet. Now it took time to build it that well. We needed to know what the common objections were going to be. We needed to learn about our actual ideal client profile, but you can just watch our video or watch my video and see what our objection sheet looks like, right? If you're not doing home improvement, it's not going to be, you know, hyper relevant to you, but you can't see how that looks like. Now, once you have a good script and an objection handling sheet, you're going to start getting a lot of people interested. The best part about this system is the longer you do it, the more effective it gets. Okay. 
And once your prospect actually consents to have a call, you take out your calendar. Like for example, we use Go High Level, but you can use Calendly if you want, right? I mean, it's more convenient in my opinion, but if you already have Go High Level, you might as well use Go High Level. And it's gonna look like this, right? It's, it's a straight up calendar with times that you are available for. And basically booking a time with them. Now, personally, we don't send the calendar itself. It's like, we don't send the Calendly link to the person. We tell the person like, hey, are you available at like 3 p.m. on you know the 15th or something like that, right? We don't actually send them the calendar. Why? Because it's just more convenient to just say, yeah, I'm available at that time or whatever. And the appointment center obviously does that, right? They confirm it like over chat. Then step number four, assigning a lead. Now, when a lead is booked, it comes right into our CRM. Now, our CRM is also powered by GoHilo, just like our calendar, right? Whatever you use, it's the same process for you. That looks like this, right? And then here we have all our leads. We have the call scheduled, first call, second call, third call, came to call, and then we have other pipeline stages like contract sent, signed, whatever. From here, one of our VAs, separate to the VAs that do the outreach, this is not the same VAs, or not the same VA, comes into our CRM, goes to the call schedule section, which is this, right? These are the people that have booked a meeting, but we haven't had the call with them yet. And manually assigns a certain lead to a certain closer. And we have two closers right now, right? Depending on our closer schedules, meetings, and plans, the VA decides who will take what lead and when. And then when that call happens, the closer does what they're best at, which is close, right? They're also responsible for following up with any prospect, which of course, the CRM helps them do because they have the sections, first call, second call, third call, right? Which help them follow up. Then step number five is contract plus payment. For contracts, we use a service called Law Depot. And for payments, we use Stripe. We already, we already have real legally binding contract templates pre-programmed into Law Depot, right? All that our closer needs to do is collect the name, business address, and email address. They plug that into Law Depot. And that person, our prospect, gets a contract sent out immediately. Once they sign, right, they get access to a pre-created Stripe link. I Meaning this is a Stripe link that was created beforehand. That collects the setup fee. That's where we have a Zapier automation that will alert the closers in our company Discord. That's what we use to communicate with each other. It's like Slack, but more convenient. What, that a payment came through. And that looks like this. It's a super simple Zap. It's literally just checkout session completed in Stripe. And then only continue if the amount is a certain amount. Like obviously we have to say that only to show the closers, um, you know, the setup fee, not just any payment. And then it sends a message in our Discord alerting the closer that someone has closed. Meaning the closers don't have access to Stripe. Then once that comes in, we've successfully signed the client. Then you schedule an onboarding. At this point, the closer opens up my personal calendar and schedules a time with the prospect and me to have an onboarding session. I still do the onboarding. So service delivery is not automated, right? That part is still manual. And from there, I will have a 20 minute call with the prospect, collect everything I need, and I'm gonna give that information to my ads team and they're gonna go and set that up, right? Soon this process is gonna be automated as well, right? But again, that's the end of the sales process. So thanks for you know, watching me talk for eight and a half minutes. But I do wanna just say something before I end the video. I know that I explained everything, in a super quick fashion here, cause you know, there's a lot more details behind the scenes. Everything here is genuinely over the span of seven months, right? For us to learn how to use Facebook Messenger in a way which books results like it books now. Like if you guys have watched my other videos, you know I've been booking 10 to 15 meetings a day, right? My calendar was slammed with calls, right? I didn't start a business to work, you know, 100 hours a week. Now that we have this sales part automated, we have closers who are not only better in sales than I am, but also they're not me, right? Meaning I can focus on other stuff and they focus on this. With this system, our customer acquisition is completely automated. Meaning we no longer have to worry about getting clients, right? Clients get, like they literally get clients in my sleep now. This is like, honestly just the result of months of work. Just finally fully working now. Next step is honestly just gonna be to automate the onboarding so I don't have to do that anymore. And then it's going to be service delivery. And at that point, this is a legitimate cash flow business, right? So that's the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, you can either comment on this video, message me on Twitter, at Georgie Titian, and that's pretty much it. And another thing, if you guys want to join a free community with agency owners, 
I'm going to have a link in the, in the description of this video called Lead Academy. Completely free. There's no paid plan, no premium. You can learn from myself, my other four founders, and all the other agency owners in there. There's some killers in there, and we'll go from there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching.